What's going on YouTube? Legions Gaming here. Just coming off of an amazing, very tiring, long 15 plus hour stream um, during the launch of the Sky RPG. And um, I had a lot of questions on that stream. A lot of repeated questions on a, a lot of things that a lot of people need to know. So this video is going to be a beginner's guide. I will be leaving timestamps for everything down below you'll have chapters on the video be able to see where you want to scroll through if you want to know about xp grinding what to do after you re-roll etc all that i'm not going to cover item world going to do that in a separate video because item world is pretty intense um and pretty kind of end game i'm going to do that in a video i'll probably upload um tomorrow or the next day um so this is going to be all about what you should be doing after you're re-rolling. So without further ado, let's get right on with the video. Okay, first things first. Now I have gotten pretty far in the game already. I've grinded a crap ton already. After you're doing your re-roll, I had a lot of people ask me, after I do my re-roll, what should I do? Number one thing that you should be doing after re-roll don't do the event right away because I'm going to tell you something. Some of the stages in the event are very difficult. And especially the stages that give you a lot of points, they're very hard to do. Even the normal stage, you, you pretty much need like level 200 plus characters to do them. To be able to clear them with three stars and get, you know, decent runs and get points very quickly. So what you want to do is do main story, get your beginner's missions completed. I already completed mine. I have my Raspberry ones. Get your beginner missions completed. Do what you need to do for beginner missions. Get your free nether quartz if you want to save them for gems or, or pull on the Xmas Laharl banner. That's up to you. Um, right now I have Raspberry um, homework. So after you complete two pages of the Etna's beginner missions, you get Raspberry's rework. So this one, I'm going to take a little bit slower, but you can do the two beginner mission pages. They're very, very easy. I think all you got to do is get up to chapter two, part three, something like that. And um, so all you want to do is do main story until you unlock item world. I will tell you exactly what point you unlock item world. Uh, main story episode two around this middle stage right here. Completing two stages here. Unlock item world. So once you complete these two stages and get to with the elixir over here, you unlock item world. With item world, you'll be able to grind items and level them up higher get chests that drop for innocence etc i'm gonna get into that in another video that is very complicated and that would make this video very long um i want to cover that in a separate video so look out for that my channel if you want to know more about the item world subscribe and hit that like button very appreciate it so once you unlock item world you can grind that etc and then what you're gonna want to be doing every single day make sure you do these every day especially if you bought the nether pass the 19.99 dollar monthly nether pass that's good for 30 days 10 times a day you can clear each of these stages so i did five times already six times already the exp gate so i can do another if i unlock keys i can do these or i can do the top one another four times make sure you do that every day because these are gated which i kind of hate that they are but i mean it is what it is there's a lot of free to play friendly stuff in here if this is the only thing that's kind of annoying about the game that's fine i do hate it but it is what it is so you can do these if, if you didn't get the pass five times a day make sure you're cranking them out five times a day the next thing you want to be doing i already used all my points you want to be using your daily assembly points that so you get a hundred assembly points now the number one thing i recommend that you use them on you can use them on the customer shop, ranking up your customer shop, because that will let you get stronger items that you can buy from the shop that you can in turn grind in the item world to get better innocence and get better weapons for your characters to give them better stats, obviously, because you, there's only so many items that we're getting from the pre-registration rewards. We already got them. So there's only so much that we're going to get for free. The rest of the stuff you're going to have to grind out. So you could try and get an early start and use one of the double xp bonuses to get double xp while you're farming the five stages a day of the exp stages i highly recommend you do that you get for 30 minutes you get double xp while you're farming the exp stages or any stages in general so when you go farm those do your dailies of awakening 
uh, materials and uh, HL, the money for the game and for experience, use this. And then the rest I highly recommend you use on ranking up your shop so you can rank that up as fast as possible while at the same time also getting a bunch of XP for your characters. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do once you hit a cap on story and you can no longer progress anymore without, you know, characters dying, etc. Go farm the event because Noel is a very, very good unit. You can honestly even farm the event halfway through the story. Once you unlock item world, you can probably go do the event. You can probably get pretty quickly uh, through this. I got all the way up to here after doing item world. I haven't done it since. My characters are a little bit stronger, so I could probably do this now. I got all the way through after going through chapter two and unlocking item world. I stopped doing story and I did the event. And I got all the way to the end of easy mode when this last stage is a little difficult. You can clear it if you turn off the auto and be smarter with your abilities. Um, and then you unlock normal. Normal is pretty difficult. You need like 200, uh, level 200 plus characters. So be sure to grind more story if you get stuck here because these easy stages do not drop a good amount of points. Now you will from doing this get enough points to be able to get Noel. Noel very very good aoe unit early on if you did not get desco she has a very early aoe only costs 24 sp so her aoe is very cheap i highly recommend the first thing you buy from here is the 15,000 point noel and then you can get all the other noels by i i recommend probably getting one more noel and then after that probably saving for the ne printy get the ne printy just in case because this is the most worth thing on here this is the the most rare thing on here is this any printy and then you can also buy the rest of noels if you're grinding this event pretty hard now i will say uh the skill books i would definitely get the skill books but these the fist statues and the spear statues all these i'm gonna be honest with you these only give like 100 xp they're not very worth um it's, it's gonna be another grind to get these thirty thousand points thirty thousand points it's if you want to you can go for it if you're feeling like grinding and wasting ap um and wasting your stamina potions you can but i don't think they're worth it because in item world when you're farming item world of farming innocence and have that on auto and auto repeat you're also getting weapon mastery so you can literally equip a weapon that you want to level up and just level it up in item world i don't think this is worth grinding i'd rather do the item world and let it just auto level up for me and farm for me and closing thoughts here what i'm going to tell you guys closing thoughts i have a lot of people asking me how to level up quickly also uh another thing you could do before i get on with the video and end it nether world history another thing you can be doing to get more nether quartz and leveling a little bit while also just you know getting some more nether quartz for your account you know it's it's actually pretty easy this one's very easy and i think you unlock more as you do them so you can do that as well now, one thing I wanted to answer, a lot of people were asking me, the most asked question I got was how to level my characters quickly. Make sure when you do the dark gates and you're using your EXP, do this all in one shot. Make sure if you're grinding, I recommend grinding through story first, maybe doing one level 20 stage to get a little buff to your characters and then doing story and event, etc., cetera, and, and rank up your characters slowly that way and then come back to this because you want to get this all done in one shot you want to go to your facilities and the assembly and use the double xp buff that i explained in the beginning of the video and farm these all in one shot and get a shit ton of xp double xp here is huge you can literally do two runs at the level 20 and get very close to level 100 once you reincarnate you get back to level 100 way faster you can do one or two more runs, get back to 100 again, and do the level 100 stage and get a shit ton of XP and get very close to 200. If you want to get level 500 character day one, that's what you need to do. You need to be smart. I'm pretty sure people that are level 500 use that twice and have the nether pass. Um, but I highly recommend doing, the, doing that just once. If you're not getting the nether pass, especially do it once. And then the rest of the assembly points, like I said, waste them on upgrading your shop you're definitely going to want to upgrade your shop and buy it right now my shop is five before i end the video i'll show you guys by the way feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for um, notifications on future videos i will be doing a lot of guides i'm going to be doing a printy guide what to do with printies a lot of people were asking that the beginner guide is this one i'm going to be doing item world guide 
and I'm going to be covering future banners and future characters and what you should look out for and save. I have a lot of videos planned, so feel free to hit that notification bell to be notified for future videos, okay? Um, last thing I want to recommend. So I'm, as you can see, I'm already customer rank six. So I, you can refill it with some gems. If you want to get ahead quickly, you can do that. It's like 50 gems, nether quartz. It's 50 nether quartz to refresh your assembly points and you can upgrade your store some more i did that once so it's at rank six now i actually did it twice i think so it's at rank six now that way i can get better weapons as you can see attack plus 56 instead of the attack plus four weapons that you were there and you can upgrade this a bunch of times in item world so it gives you something to do in game right the last thing i want to recommend is definitely every single day because this resets daily in the hl shop definitely buy these ap potions every day you can only buy two per day and i highly recommend if you have the hl buy the skip tickets and also these bars and the golden uh the golden candy because you're going to be using this in assembly to get them on your side to make them favorable um for saying yes to what you want to level up your store to get more double xp there's even one to unlock uh ap as well i'll show you guys here so the level the ap cap is 100 there is there's even one right here higher ap cap for 20 so there's a bunch of stuff that you keep unlocking as you progress through story so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video hit that like button subscribe again and uh hit that notification bell to be notified for future videos like i said gonna be doing a lot a lot of content on this game so feel free to join the discord as well join me on twitch we had 240 50 plus strong members on the on twitch live for about 15 hours straight um it was crazy i tried helping as many people as i can but there's only so many times you can answer a question without repeating yourself a million times so thought i'd make a guide to help you guys out so thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you in the live streams or in the discord or commenting down below so thank you guys so much see you guys on the next video